Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Sword Art Online All Association War of Underworld, which is on episode 22, or you could call it episode 10, you know? Anyways, this episode right here looks like to me nothing much has happened, but it looks like there might be bad news for other characters alone, especially for that world over there. Now, call me Crazy Milanakis for saying that and wondering, like, what the heck are you talking about? I'll get to it in just a moment. We have to that the episode opens up with Alice actually being interviewed, you know? She's now broadcast to the entire world in public to like come talk about who she is and what she is, you know? Etc. Although there are some concerning questions about her if she's even human, you know, etc. And she does like them have some anger issues, but she puts on that mask of like saying, Oh, I'm in a calm situation kind of thing, you know? But eventually we have to it that um my our girl Alice eventually will let her go, will go off somewhere before one question is asked, you know? I mean, this question was asked before she went to go off to go see um, Kirito. My spoiler ahead. But that aside, um, that question is like, are you sure that this artificial intelligence won't kill us, destroy us humanity people, you know? And that is a pretty scary thought, you know? When it comes to fiction and all that, sometimes when you create something that's that of artificial intelligence, it's more likely to betray you. It could be. I don't know. We don't really know. Had, I mean, all I know is like, in the real world, artificial intelligence is being created, but not to a point, I don't know, to that section point. But who knows? But Rinko-san says like, um, well... It will only happen if we try to destroy them. Let's put that in mind. Like, if we try to destroy them, they'll destroy us in return. That much I can say for sure. But that aside from all else, everything else all considered, um, Alice goes to Kirito. And you know, Kikoko-san, he is pronounced dead, but he's actually alive. He decides to stay dead maybe for, like, um, for other places alone, etc., you know? But we also see to it that, like I said, um, Kirito wakes up, tells Alice about her little sister, that she's waiting for her, you know, that kind of thing. And we see to it, of course, that we get some bad news about the underworld after Kirito and Asuna reunite in the, in the hospital, you know. Eventually, you know, Kirito is told, to, is, asked, is asked by Kikoka and he got to, like, delete the memories he had for 200 years kind of thing, you know. Eventually, there are some memories that he has that from the underworld that he can't get rid of, but it's going to disappear eventually, you know? Which would really suck, but it's understandable because I don't know what, I don't know what it is, but whatever the case may be, um, we have to that kikoku san talks to Kito and Asuna in the hospital and tell them the bad news about, like, the underworld might be shut down or destroyed or deleted since now that this is put out in public and everything feels a little... Cautious and concerning because, you know, artificial intelligence, man. I mean, like, um, they might have a chance to, like, um, stab you or cause some major problems or issues in the end. But whatever the case may be, um, he'll do whatever he can to, like, save the underworld through hope, you know? And, of course, Higa, Higa-san, the freaking stupid four-eyed freak blondie Goldilocks guy, and I'm pretty sure you guys might be asking me right now, okay, now you're starting to insult the guy, why are you so mad? He end, he actually ended up making a copy of Kirito, Kirito-kun, like from the underworld to, to an AI. He says, oh, you are the first human that survived for 200 years, I can't allow this to go to waste or something. I'm thinking in my mind, you are really asking to die right now, dude. I mean, I don't mean to be a nasty jerk on that, but believe me, man, um... You're, you're opening a, a box that you're not supposed to open. But, you know, they end up, they, the, the Kirito in this AI form tell Siga-kun, you know, I'll do what I can to help f help you fight for the underworld. But right now, I need to know what's up here and there, etc. And there's one man that can actually help us behind the scenes, and that's Kaiba Akihiko, you know. With his help, we might be able to save the underworld, etc. But, you know, those two meeting, we don't really know what's going to happen. Because, you know, let's be honest. Kirito and Kaiba Akiko has a somewhat of a sour relationship with each other. I mean, like, um, Kaiba is really responsible for, like, many deaths who ever played SAO. You know, that kind of thing. And to think the AI and 
AI Kirito and Kaiba Akiko will be meeting each other is pretty risky. I mean, Higa couldn't decide to take the risk anyway, and he may have some connections here and there. And, you know, um, yeah. Kirito goes home and cries because, you know, Yujiro is still in his memories and wish for those memories to be deleted, you know? But he ends up talking, to, telling Sugaha about him, etc., you know? And we ha get to see a scene about Alice thinking I'm like, Kirito, I might wither away kind of thing, you know? And we have to it that um, the ending scene ends off with the ending of the episode ends off with Rinko calling Kirito, you know? And preview of next episode is called The New World. So, looks like to me, I don't know what's really bound to happen for the underworld, but there might be a chance to save it. It all depends on how, like, how it goes. I mean, like, um, there's a couple plans of mine, and Higa-kun being stupid Goldilocks four eyes, and I'm pretty sure you guys might be thinking, okay, calm down, man, the guy did something stupid, yeah, but this might help the underworld out. Can you consider that? Yeah, I could consider that, but it's risky at the same time. This guy, Akabi Kirito, known from the underworld as an AI, who knows what the heck he could do, etc. After saving the underworld. Who knows? Like I said, this guy's full of... Is full of, like, Kirito and could be very sneaky and could do a lot of crazy sh you know? But, we'll have to see. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Anfizero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot-toot-toot!